What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the eBay E36 build. Today we're going to be taking care of a bunch of little details and as I say the devil is in the details and so we're going to go through and do a bunch of little things to make this car really stand out. Um, so stay tuned. So a little quickie thing today, we're going to install this uh, boss head unit. Now generally I avoid these things like the plague, but it has really good reviews and free returns on Amazon, so we're going to give it a try because it's budget. I paid like 25 bucks for this thing. And supposedly it does really well with Bluetooth phone connection. Now these are the two uh, harnesses that come with the head unit. This I paid $5 for. It is a Skosh BW01B, which is the correct plug for our car. So first job is we got to solder all of these together. Uh, and then basically just drop it in the car. I'm going to go ahead and use all the factory speakers. If somebody replaced the rear speakers, the fronts are factory. They're not blown out, so I'm going to use them for now, but I'm definitely going to replace them in the future. But I want to be able to play some tunes, and I didn't want to spend any more money, so here we go. So there we go. There's our completed uh, harness, and this is just one of those things that I think separates um, kind of low-end shitty builders and guys who do things right and it takes maybe five more minutes than butt connectors but when you solder and heat shrink everything it looks professional and it feels professional and you know you never have to worry about those connections um you know getting humidity in them or whatever else and so just because something isn't expensive doesn't mean you have to do it cheap so there we go um the fitment is super tight so you need a screwdriver to kind of get that harness in there or i'm not the harness excuse me the uh get the cage in there but once it's in there it's good and this thing supposedly has like call answering as well like hands free but i guess the uh the microphone must be built in right there or somewhere um i don't know because there's no uh there's no external microphone with this thing but again for 25 dollars, i'm pretty happy with it uh, so let me get this thing paired up, and we'll see if the speakers in this car even work, if everything's hooked up. When I look back, ain't nothing else I would do When I spent this So, it works, and it doesn't actually sound that bad in here. Um, definitely need to get some larger uh, speakers in here, because obviously it's a convertible, so the space is kind of limited. So we're probably going to end up installing six and a halves in the front, but there's definitely no need to do it immediately. Um, and the best part is this thing looks OEM. I really like it, and it sounds great. So, and it's super easy to use, like super intuitive. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. I have to say, for 25 bucks, that head unit definitely goes in the win category. We got tunes in the vert, and we're ready to roll. Cool, more random parts showed up today that we can install. So, things that are annoying. Hood falling on your head. New hood struts, 15 bucks. Cell phone mount, need to put this in somewhere. Phone charger, important. This, uh, we need to pass inspection. This is a new windshield washer pump. I've already uh, tested it, we just need to install it. Um, and like I said, we need this to pass inspection. This was like 15 bucks as well. And then the piece de resistance, uh, new vinyl cover for the central armrest. This is the only thing that's going to take a little bit of work. We're going to get that in today as well. So first things first, let's get the easy stuff. So there we go. New struts installed. Just have to bend the tangs a little bit. And I did not mean to shut it. But it actually holds it up really well. So check this out. One finger. Ah. So next thing is we got to replace this. Um, Basically, if you have fluid in here, it's just going to go everywhere. Um, just the way this tank is designed, I guess you could like try to siphon it out or something. But it's just power, power washing fluid. So uh, we got to pull the old one out and get the hose off, get the hose in the new one, put it in. There's a rubber grommet in there. There we go. We didn't make too, too much of a mess, but uh, you just have to replace it. Okay, let's give that a go again. Okay, that's that's one for two. That one I think is just the the nozzle itself is kind of dunsky. But I think we should be able to pass an inspection like that. All right, we got our shitty center console. This guy now, color's not really a hundred percent match. But then again, the interior is all different types of faded. So first thing I do is remove. 
remove this back panel, there's three Phillips head screws here. We're going to pop them off, and then we're getting ready to get this stripped down. So here is our rest, and you can see this stuff is just glued in. So the first step is just to remove this old cover, and just it just peels off. It's quite. There we go. Um, just pulled right on. It's a pretty good fit. So what you want to do is you want to basically glue all of these inside pieces, um, and then uh, with the spray adhesive, you can use uh, 3M Super 77 or whatever it's called if you want, and then just basically clamp it down. I only got a couple of clamps, but hopefully that should be enough. Now admittedly, there's like five different shades of beige in here, right? The uh, front seats are one color, or that front seat is one color, this front seat is another color, the back seat is less faded, this thing is like kind of a bright white, fucking spiders or whatever. Um, but it's significantly more comfortable and feels rather nice, so I'm pretty happy with it. There we go, phone's mounted. Um, hopefully this won't be much of an issue for the passenger, but it gives me a nice readout. I can see the GPS when I'm driving, I can change music, it's all very convenient, it can charge. Perfect little location. A few more random pieces of stuff came in. This right here is a special rubberized plug for this hole. There we go, there's our special little rubberized plug, so no more hole. And we got these guys, which are new struts for the hood, so, or I'm sorry, for the trunk, so we're going to put those in. Again, doesn't require an engineering degree, doesn't cost a lot of money, it's 15 bucks. But, you know, when the hood is, the trunk is right here, flip it up, it opens on its own, makes kind of a scary noise when it flaps open. Um, that's good. So the next thing I installed is a clutch stop, and I got it for 10 bucks off eBay, but the guy that makes these I think is a forum member somewhere. And so, these things are great in the sense that uh, when you set them correctly, like this one is set, basically the clutch bottoms out just past the point of engagement. And so it minimizes how far you gotta push because this car without the clutch stop has a really, really long clutch throw um, and about half of it is just noise. So it's a good little thing to have. Like I said, 10 bucks, totally worth it. So the next thing I did was I installed this. This is the BMW weighted performance shift knob. This is expensive, it's like 65, 70 bucks, but it's literally the best shift knob on the face of the earth. I would have this in every vehicle, uh, BMW or otherwise, and you can get it in the five speed or the six speed pattern depending on what car you need. And once we get the short shifter in here, it'll be the perfect combination, but the leather is nice and smooth, it stays cool in your hand and it has a nice weight to it. And so it feels fantastic and I absolutely love it. It is expensive, but it is the ultimate BMW interior mod that every manual transmission BMW should have. So next, the little mod we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna fit these. These are six and a half inch uh, Rockford Foss gates, and we're gonna put them in the front wheel wells, <clears throat> or in the front fender well, uh, and uh, the stock size, I believe, five and a quarter, and this car actually has the original stock BMW speakers in it, I believe. So we're going to take those out, we're going to have to trim a little bit of material to make these fit, but uh, this should go in without too many problems. There's kind of a demonstration of the sound difference, size difference, excuse me, and obviously you can see this is a, um, has built-in tweeters, and this is just a single cone. So now we got to get this thing to fit in there. I hope you guys enjoyed all the little touches we put on the E36 today. Uh, as always, I'm Max, this is MaxWorks. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, make sure you subscribe down below. You want some send me some hate mail comment section is right down there as well as always thanks for watching peace